Taliban demonstrations 2008. We're on the final day Thursday. This is our HQ. We've got Tom, Tim Newman sitting down there, Bob McGuire on the left, Matt Ellis, of course. We're doing a few things here with analyzers capturing spectrum. Uh, this is our media center also. We're updating Twitter, Pants, Facebook, YouTube, blogs. Tim is our Twitter king. Yeah, say hi to the world, Twitter king. This is Tim. Tom is busy. We're, we're doing some on the fly PowerPoints or uh, open office editing. So, looking around here, we've got Philip Stand. Um, Philip Saul and uh, White Space Detection, DTV. Around here, we won over an hour band uh, FM transmitter sources. This is used to. Uh, we're going up and down the frequency range and interfering with your spectrum company to demonstrate their uh, agility and detection. Over here, we got Omesh. Uh, Omesh is a, a new startup with uh, a, a mesh network using Zigbee devices here. You can see they're small and battery powered. On the right hand side here now we got a Daptrum's device. Daptrum of course part of the whole White Space Alliance. This is what it looks like. It's off at the moment. Connected here to uh, an Enritsu uh, handheld analyzer. And we can see the our bow tie antenna. And we'll move over now to Rockville Collins. Rockville Collins here with the uh, we got we got our um, spectrum activity on the screen. And uh, so down here is one of our devices. There were, there were two two objectives we had. One was the recurring cost, and the other was the uh, inner body. So we went in. This is our second um, narrowband interference source we switched off for the moment. Again, which is generating narrowband FM signal. This is CTVR stand. So, York here explaining about the use of the FPGA for the reconfigurable radio. Uh, this is part of IRIS implementing radio and software, which uh, has moved from a general purpose processor to FPGA uh, onto the PlayStation 3 using the IBM Cell uh, broadband engine. So, we're squeezed by the crowd. Over here we got the uh, spectrum correlation function graphs. Again, we're using the universal soft radio peripheral here in this case, and all the processing is done on the, the PlayStation 3. Or the, um, Paul is inside there explaining, doing a great job of explaining all of the psychostationary features. This is Hisham. Hisham. I get his name wrong every time, even though I work with him. Are we looking on here? This is C, this is Paul Sutton's uh, dynamic uh, uh, bandwidth units. So each of these peaks indicates, uh, you can see if we can see it down here, looking at each bandwidth unit that's available, trying to uh, work out what is uh, the width of the bandwidth of the signal. Share Spectrum Company. Again, this is where the narrowband interference sources were used to uh, knock, knock their uh, signals or their, uh, interfere with them, and they, they were moving around. This is Carl. Carl. <laughs> on YouTube yet again, two years in a row. <laughs> As you can see, <laughs> this year the devices are a lot easier to, to take a movie of because they're much smaller. <laughs> they actually fit within the, the, the screen. So there you go. There's Karen live on TV. Dice Band TV. I'm <laughs> <laughs> uh, just looking around the crowd here, so it's our last day. We'll be closing up, packing up. This is Ali Gorson from the University of South Florida explaining how his uh, system is, works on the actual analyzer. So, one of the smaller displays here. Hey, this is guy from uh, I2R. Would you like to explain what you have? Would you like to explain your demo? No? Okay. So I2R have implemented a white space uh, sensing device. Uh, they're using this uh, this sensor here, connects some uh, processing elements on here. And uh, of course the big news is working out how to uh, sense whether a TV channel is free or not. So we can squeeze more services on it. So they're using a signal generator here to 
uh, over cable, in this case, to uh, emulate the uh, TV signal. Back to Philips here, so you see Philips a very sick display showing the, uh, the TV channel usage and white space detection. So here we got the dinner table of which channels are designated as uh, free based on detection and which are uh, seen as uh, being occupied. So it's quite a well developed uh, demonstration. And that's it from uh, Keith at uh, Dice Demonstrations 2008.